Pythagoras Iron Man build. Part 7. Identify. Ah, uh, okay. Well, here we are. Second part. The Iron Man build. Part 7. Clip. Getting into part 7. The little toe things for the feet of our Metal Earth Iron Man. Part 7. Band. Well, one thing I'd mention about this is make sure you get the bend right uh, by observing carefully the cross section and uh, you can see it taking shape as you fold it carefully over. Part 7. Assemble to Part 4. Part 7. Assembly second part 7 omitted. Yeah, basically the same bend. So, no, Identify. no need to uh, show you that, but you can see there's a cross section in the instructions. So, we're taking a look for part 8. And again, there are two part eights, and that's the color coding, so you can, I guess, identify it on the other sheet. Part eight. Identify second part eight. And there is second part eight on the other half sheet of red, so just uh, point that out. Part eight. Clip. Now these are the eh, kind of second part of the foot of Iron Man and we'll give that a gentle bend. Again I like to use my just using my hands to bend that rather than uh, the pliers. There you go. Part eight. Assemble to part four. Part four, that being the base. But you can see the bottom of the base looking a lot like a circuit board. So I usually start out with putting one connection and then trying to work my way through the other connection shaping it carefully I guess in this case I had to expose that slot you can there you can see it in green <laughs> In the background, the ambient soundtrack by Lama Music. And uh, they're a experimental electronic band from the 80s, 90s, current day. But uh, Keith said go ahead and uh, feel free to use their music. And I'll give them credit for that. Thank you.
This is a special track of theirs too, just to mention, uh, from 1992, December 29th, they had somebody special. Maybe somebody can tell me who that is. On Instagram. Paranile. Identify. Part 10. Identify. What? Part 10. Identify. Yeah, right. Part 9. Cleared. Alright, well, uh, part nine. Part ten. Cleared. And part ten. Part nine. Band. Those two parts will create the calf part of the leg. And uh, one thing to notice in the plans of this, these uh, wonderful cross sections. Part 10, assemble to part 9. And uh, that gives you a good pre shaping so that when you do finally attach this part, oh, all the slots fit in nicely. Part 9, band. And, uh, yeah, these are little <laughs> flare outs at, uh, the bottom of, uh, the bottom of the legs as they flare out like bell bottom pants. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I just use my hands to shape that, prevent scratching. There's a little tab you should uh, bend out. Part 11. Identify. Imagine it. Part 11. Cleared. Part 9. Band. Yeah, well, you should get these tabs bent at least straight out. Part 11, assemble to part 9. And this part, of course, is uh, uh, it's going to have to get bent. Part 11, band. Let's get bent. Oh. Part 11. Assemble to part 9. There you go. Just bend those back with the, uh, the pliers this time. Just get them started anyway, and, uh, we'll finish them off. Yeah, just uh, being a little careful not to scratch the surfaces, yeah, since they will be showing. And this one, ah, 
is my thumbnail. If you have one. It's bending out of the tab. Oh, and there's a tab in the front. I see. Part 12. Identify. It's on the half sheet of red. Part 12. Clip. Part 12. Band and assemble. Oh yeah, so this is uh, another, yet another part detail that fits on the outside, but it, uh, it's a careful shaping and bending and connecting of that tab and slot. And there, I guess the first one to get it's a little bit difficult, but once you get it secure, then you can work from there. Second tab, secure, and now you can just carefully bend along the perforations and crease lines there. I dare to use my pliers. So you'll notice here I don't uh, don't quite uh, bend those tabs over just yet. Make sure um, I'm just making sure that it's uh, to a good shape, but don't connect these yet because uh, you'll see. Part twelve. Assemble to part nine. So I'll just uh, insert the rear tab first and do a flat blue circle bend on that connection. And there you go. You'll just have to slightly open that up to allow that tab to fit in that slot. And close it all up and bend it all up, and that provides a very secure part. Uh, oh, you can see here I took out those uh, needle nose pliers. I don't use them all the time, but when I do, they when I do need them, they come in handy. So, and uh. I can even bend over those tabs with no problem at all. But, uh, I 
Very good. There. We have a lower leg segment complete. <laughs>